Hello everyone, welcome to Built on a PC, recorded on a Mac. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a budget gaming PC build. Uh, so let's start. So we're going to do a, a, piece, a build for a $700 gaming PC. Um, yeah, so let's start with CPU. For the CPU, I'm going to go with the Intel Core i5-3550 because it's fast, it's reliable. I can I I paired this with a eight with a Asrock Z75 um, Pro 3 motherboard and I have it um, I have it clocked I overclocked it to 4.2 gigahertz and it is stupid fast yeah uh, next for, for the motherboard I'm gonna go with the Asrock seven seven the Z75 Pro because I love this motherboard and Asrock gets a bad reputation for its sometimes faulty behavior in the past few years or so and um but now they're back um and i enjoy this motherboard it has usb 3 uh it's got usb 2.0 it's got one ps2 which is which can be useful trust me uh it's got vga it even has hdmi and the and the analog audio um out is very it's it's not bad i have to say it's better uh it i think it's 192 kilohertz. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the measurement for that is. Kilohertz, whatever. Um, for the RAM, I'm going to go with the G Skill Rip Jaws X series. I currently have these. These are very fast. They're running at six, they're running at 1600 megahertz and, um, eight gigabytes. And they're like 49 and they're like 45 bucks. For, and they they they're really uh, efficient. They co they cool really well due to these amazing cooling teeth on them, and um, yeah. And I'm not, I'm gonna be a downright idiot here. They look cool. <laughs> for the hard drive, I'm gonna go with the Western Digital 500 gigabytes, uh, the Caviar Blue. It's very very fast. 500 gigabytes spinning at 7200 RPMs. It's a great boot drive. My computer boots up in about one, no, no it's like 40 seconds. It's crazy. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, uh, it works really well, and I really, and I really support it, and it, 500 gigabytes, that's enough storage for, like, any game, really, unless you're, like, I don't know, whatever. For the GPU, um, I'm going to go with the HIS Radeon 7850, 1 gigabyte of DDR5 memory, 256-bit. Uh, this thing is performs so well. Uh, it, it like, I, I have had the 7000 series in the past Radeons. I've had the 7770, and I upgraded to this, and it's, uh, it's uh, this thing. I've I can run Battlefield Three on ultra settings, wi and it won't heat up above seventy degrees Celsius, and that's that's impressive to me. It is at least. Maybe you have like a Radeon seventy nine seven year Nvidia GTX six ninety whatever. For the case, uh, go whatever you want. I grabbed a cheap NZXT because. Yeah, well, I don't have this. My favorite case, personally, is the Corsair 200R. It's clean cut. It's beautiful. It cool. It cools perfectly. And it and uh, this I I grab this because it's cheap. It's got looks. It supports um up to five draw uh, up to five like external optical and media reading whatever's drives um. It's it's really cooling efficient. It's got USB on the front with a headphone jack and microphone jack, and I think an HDMI port. But it depends on the kind of motherboard you get. For the PSU, I'm gonna go. You have to get a good power supply. You cannot just go go cheap out and say, "Oh, I'm gonna get this twenty nine dollar Cooler Master because it has seven hundred watts." No, you gotta go eighty plus certified. Uh, this PSU is the Antec Neo Eco. And it's 520 watts, and it powers pretty much like everything. It can power. It powers the. It's more than enough power for the 7850 and the i5 and the RAM and the hard drive and ev and everything. So this this is a perfect PSU. It's great. It's well performed. It's compact. It doesn't make any noise. I mean, it does, but none that you can really notice and get annoyed with, like that Cooler Master. 
Uh, for the optical drive, grab whatever you want. Just grab like a light on or a Samsung. Because optical drive should be gone by now. Everything should just be USB and like wireless and like laser. Alright, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, the next video. Oh, it came out to $702.41 on PC Part Picker. So, uh, I definitely recommend that. Alright, thanks for watching. And, uh, my next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna man up. I'm gonna do a $200 gaming build. Alright, thanks. Bye. Oh, I have to cut that out.